Astroni from Campi Plegre, you know, a very sort of uh, historically, classically famous area, meaning field of fire, fields of fire in Campania. And it's actually a caldera of an extinct volcano, so it's a very special landscape. Um, the, the Falangina has also become, uh, in our market anyway, in the UK, pretty popular and quite trendy at the moment. And I noticed when I was in New York as well, there were a lot of these southern Italian white varieties such as Fiano, Fiano di Abellino, uh, Falangina and Greco di Tufo that was, seemed to be very popular with the on-trade. Uh, and uh, I'm happy about that because they have a lot of personality and character. Um, this wine, uh, when I was speaking to, um, I was speaking to the, uh, the, I, the owner, the winemaker yesterday, was telling me he wanted to get across the fact that it's a very salty soil and it's near the sea. So there's a lot of these savory, salty characteristics. I suppose what Italians would more likely call sapido, but for us we would say savory or slightly salty flavors, which of course is something that's very positive when paired with food. Um, uh, so you've got the salty soil, you've got the sea, which is nearby, contributing to this, and sun. I think those were the characteristics that I really wanted to come across. Um, this is free-run juice fermented in stainless steel, started with natural yeast, and then inoculated a strain of yeast derived from the vineyard to complete the fermentation. Uh, very, fermented very cool, uh, racked and refined on lees for about six months. And I think you can really feel that salty savouriness on the, on the palate, can't you, when you, when you finish, on the finish of the wine. It starts with an impression of almost an element of honeyed impression, or very ripe fruit, and then it finishes very dry and savory. So again, this is one that is very compatible, I think, with lots of food matching. This is one of the many volcanic wines that we have today, and they're also a topic recurrent in wine criticism in restaurants, and uh, I'm sure many of you know the book about volcanic wines by John Sabo in Canada, that is subtitled Salt and Grit, and so I think, you know, this wine is showing the, these two characteristics. And there is actually an interesting parallel to the next wine that we have on the list, which is um, uh, Pinot Bianco from Alto Adige, because this is also coming from volcanic soils. And those of you who know this region for its wines, or maybe you go skiing there, both good ideas, and you can do it in the same day. Um, there is a lot of, um, there is a lot of uh, volcanic uh, character to the soils there.